Okay, so the other day, my beautiful wife posted about our garden. And she talked about some of the issues that we're having with the garden and that she was a city girl that didn't know anything about gardening. And uh, she asked for advice. So let me, before we get all of that advice, because we've gotten a bunch, a lot of good comments, let me tell you what the actual plan is. I'm not a city boy. And I actually know how to do a garden. And so that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about what the plan is for the garden. So we've had some people comment on the drainage. Drainage is actually good. This slopes slightly down that hill and goes down to a pond down there at the bottom. So drainage here is actually good. The other thing is, this is not actually a permanent garden spot. This is actually going to eventually be the orchard. We're actually gonna move the garden way over there on the property as soon as we get some more land cleared. So this is only gonna be a garden for like two or three years, okay? This soil was red clay soil with a little bit of sand over the top of it. So pretty much uninhabitable for anything. That's why there was nothing growing there. There was also nothing growing there because we burned down the old chicken coop. And when we burned down the old chicken coop, it got so hot that it sterilized all the ground. So there was no chance that anything was gonna burn, grow there. It had been sterilized for well over a year. Um, it just killed all the seeds. It was so hot, it was like a house fire. So that being said, we've got, the drainage is okay here. Not great, but it's good. It sloped downhill. We're throwing over a bunch of manure. Keep throwing it on there until we get some decent soil there. And then at that point in time, once the manure compost, as well as the chicken manure, the chicken straw, um, as much straw as we can get from neighbors that have, you know, um, their, their hay and stuff that's molded, we'll put all that on there, till it into the soil, let it compost. And then sometime within the next year, we'll take a soil sample when we know a little bit more about uh, what they can do, or when we've, when we've actually prepared the soil a little bit. Right now, people say, well, you don't know what to add. Well, I know it needs organic matter because there's none there. Um, and I, it's, there's no chance that anything was gonna grow there the way that it was. So I had to just add manure uh, and compost until we could figure out what's going on. So that's the plan for the garden. So now the advice that we need is actually, are there better things that we should be ask, or, uh, adding to the garden? Are there things that are better than manure and straw and crap like that, that we should be adding to it to bring up the soil knowing that it is red clay soil? It's also fairly loose soil now because I did go through and till it. Uh, we got the tiller for the tractor, um, and then I'm keep tilling everything in that we do. Um, I'm not hot composting the manure. I'm not putting it in a pile, letting it compost, mostly because we don't have time. We've got another pile that we're going to start over on the other side, uh, other side of the road, and that one will be hot composting and actually getting it, uh, get, you know, making it go through a heat before we use it. <clears throat> so, but that takes time. Um, we don't have time to get planted for this spring. So that's where we're at. So anyways, guys, hope that answers some of the questions that was out there from the other day's video. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, leave us some feedback. We do appreciate it.